Dave Graham here with Luba Plotnikov from Oceanside Tourism. Now, Luba, you say that this is a great time of year for an autumn impromptu. Now, what's that about? Well, first off, this is a wonderful time of year to travel. The summer crowds are gone, the weather's still nice. And you know, it's just such a great time to throw caution to the wind and, and just get away. Okay, so that's what you mean by impromptu, I see. So you're suggesting then that we maybe set aside the to-do list for, for the day or the weekend. I'm always good for that if I don't have to cut the lawn. So what do you have in mind? Well, we've got now until December with the salmon spawning season, and that means it's also prime bear watch season but you know you do have to use a little bit of caution yeah yeah I saw a bear cub out along highway 4 not too long ago and it was just by chance and fortunately he hopped into the woods pretty quickly there were all kinds of traffic out there and I imagine if he'd stuck around somebody would have gotten out of their car to take a picture yeah <laughs> I saw mama and cubs just last year the little qualicum fish hatchery watch for signs on highway 19 it's just off Rupert Ring Road in qualicum Beach our website has more at visit Parksville qualicum Beach Com, and you might even be able to spot six of the seven species of salmon at this time of year. That many? That I, many. I didn't know there were that many. Oh, you know what else? Eagles, too. You see all sorts of eagles and gulls at this time of year, and it's a strange sight to see a river lined with seagulls. Mm -hmm. good, good photo op. Mm -hmm. Excellent photo op. But don't forget the film or, of course, memory cards or batteries or shopping bags if you want to check out the local farmer's markets. I mean, they will have bags, but they do appreciate it when you bring your own. And the markets continue through September on Saturdays in Arrington and in Qualicum Beach and Sundays in Parksville. You have all the where and when information on your website, right? We absolutely do. Okay. The Old Schoolhouse Art Center in Qualicum Beach begins October with their annual Harvest of Music. This is a world-class music festival with all performances is either $5 or $12, even less if you're a member at Tosh. You'll enjoy classical, Celtic, jazz, and more. Details on their website, theoldschoolhouse.org. And the Oceanside Gallery in Parksville has two big shows throughout October. The 12th annual We Are Assembled exhibition with three-dimensional art made of found objects. And then they've got the contemporary collage exhibition called Arata. Two-dimensional works representing how heavily promoted today's civilization has become. Both Tosh and the Oceanside Gallery offer regular regular series of classes for the beginner to the advanced in all kinds of media. And that's why I'm a photographer. I cannot draw. Me neither. Mm. This whole region is just chock full of artists, and most of them are listed in one place. Get to one of the visitor centers for a copy of the Blue Brochure for a guide to gallery studios and artists in the region. But what about those who would like to get away without really having to go anywhere or do anything? Well, that's where our packages come in. Visit ParksvilleQualcomeBeach.com has an ever-changing list of special deals that combine accommodation with activities or the inactivity activities. Take, for example, the Beach Club's Escape the City package for $1.99 per person. It buys you two nights accommodation, manicures for two, lunch for two, and so much more. Or, for a little more action, how about the executive bed and breakfast on the green in the noose offering great golfing getaways that includes two nights accommodation, 18 holes of golf, breakfast, and more for $200 per person. Even my shaky math tells me those are really good deals. For those looking to do a little exploring closer to home, Top Bridge is a lovely spot at this time of year, although it can be just a little bit tricky if you've never been there before. You know what? It is a little tricky to find, and maybe that's why it's such a gem. It's definitely one of my favorite parks. Check out our website. We've got links to all the parks. Mm, great. You know, people can be funny. <laughs> You know, what we do, though, is we put off going places and exploring because we live here and the attractions and all the activities will, will be there for whenever we have time to get around to it. I know. And and we don't always do that, do we? Procrastinating. Mm -hmm. All the time. So, here's one. When was the last time you took a walk on the beach? Last time was during the Parksville Beach Festival. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how about you? When's the last time you played mini golf? It's been a while. Yeah, or found a new trail to explore in Cathedral Grove, or visited the North Island Wildlife Recovery Center, or how about antiquing, Dave? Mm, you got me there. It's been a while. So here's one, a stroll onto the dock at Hamilton Marsh, just outside of Colicum Beach. A lot of people don't even know it's there. I just have one suggestion. Don't use the parking lot right off the highway. Drive further around. Once you get to the second parking lot, take the big trail in, and then the fork to the right, unless you're wearing wellies. It's pretty damp in there.
Have you seen the Easter Island heads made out of tree stumps on the trail off Rupert Road? I have not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be looking for them they're now. There. there are just so many things to see out there. I know. And so that might mean putting off washing the car or cleaning the eaves. Uh, I can handle that. An autumn impromptu, an invitation to treat yourself from Oceanside Tourism.